Hello, welcome to Bagrate TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Fela Anikula Pokuti. The legendary songwriter, pianist, civil rights activist, and drummer was born to the family of protestant minister, Reverend Asom Kuti, and wife, Fumilayo Kuti, a political activist. Fela was born as Olu Fela, Olu Shegun, Olu Dotun, Ransom Kuti in Nabiokuta, Nigeria, on October 15, 1938, then the city in the British colony of Nigeria. He was born into a middle class family as his father, a protestant minister, was a school principal, the first president of the Nigerian Union of Teachers, and his mother, a popular figure in the history of Nigeria who was a political activist too and was known for being part of the anti colonial movement. Fela was the first cousin to writer and Nobel laureate Wale Shoyinka. Music has always been Fela's first love since birth. As a child, he learned how to play the piano and drums and led the choir at the Abi Okuta Grammar School. In the early 50s, Fela gained admission in London to study medicine, which was a thing of pride for the family, but they ended up with their pride in shreds when the defiant Fela opted to study music at Trinity College of Music, London. At the music school, Fela studied classical music and developed a particular love for American jazz. His preferred instrument was the trumpet. While in the music school, he formed the band Kula Lobitos and their genre of music was a vision of jazz and high life. Fela and his band performed in London. In 1960, Fela married his love, Lemelekun Taylor, and they had three children, Femi, Yemi, and Shola. In 1963, Fela returned back home. Then it was the newly independent Federation of Nigeria. It was in Nigeria that he reformed his band, Kula Lobitos, and also worked as a radio producer with the Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation. He played sometimes with Victor Laia and his All Stars. It was his experiment with Kula Lobitos that gave birth to Afrobeat music. In 1967, he went to Ghana to cool off for some time, where he got a new direction for his music. It was at this time that he called his music for the very first time, Afrobeat. Fela became a political and human rights activist after his 1969 tour of the United States of America, where he came in contact with the politics of Malcolm X, the Black Panthers, through Sandra Smith and other African-American activists. The Marxist ideology and the call for social change were the themes in most of his songs like Zombie, Monkey Banana, Beast of No Nation, Upside Down. Fela's band came to be known with different names at different times. First, it was the Nigerian 70, then African 70, and later Egypt 80. Fela formed Kalakuta Republic, a commune, recording studio, and a home connected to the band, and he later said his republic was independent from Nigeria. He did set up a nice club in the Empire Hotel, first known as the Afro Spot, and later the African Shrine, where himself and his band were folks with Afro beats. This musical legend, known for his energetic music, had his way of speaking for the common Nigerians, the oppressed, something that is missing among contemporary Nigerian musicians. He stood for the people of all ages, ethnic groups, the young, old, male and female, through his enthusiastic worded music. The then military government, whose rule was wired with tyranny, had fellas anti-oppression music caused them serious unrest. For that reason, they tried all they could to give a dog a bad name. They made it a routine to always raid his compound, Kalakuta Republic, looking for evidence to jail him. In 1977, there was a raid in his compound by the Nigerian authority that resulted in his brief incarceration and the death of his mother after she was thrown down a story building by an unknown soldier. While in exile in Ghana in 1978, he changed his name from Ransom to Anikulakbu, meaning the one who has death in his pouch. Following his return to Nigeria, Anikulapu joined active politics in 1979 and he formed a political party, the Movement of the People, and contested for the Nigerian presidency, but lost. Exactly five years after, he was jailed for 20 months, charged for currency smuggling. Following his release, he retired from activism and handed the mantle to his first son. Fela died in 1997 as a result of AIDS. More than a million people attended his funeral at the site of the old shrine. After his death, Femi and his siblings opened the new African shrine in Lagos, and there is a yearly celebration to honor this legend, known as Felabration. Hope you had fun because I did. What do you think about Fela's music? 
let us know in the comment section please like this video share and subscribe to our channel